Hello, something a bit different uh, today. So the eagle-eyed amongst you might have noticed that that's me, actually. That's me about seven or eight years ago. I've aged badly since then. <laughs> anyway, I was um, born in 78 and by the time I was kind of of reading age, Choose Your Own Adventure books were massive. So there was... Three, really. There was um, the Fighting Fantasy books by Steve Jackson and Ian Livingston. Um, <clears throat> there was the Lone Wolf series by Joe Denver, I think it was. Joe Diva, I can't remember his name now. And then there was the Choose Your Own Adventure books, uh, which were for slightly younger kids, really. So anyway, a lot of nostalgia for me now. And they have been making uh, a comeback, these... Um, choose your own adventure style books so i had a go at one myself it's only a small one um about 70 odd pages and about roughly about 108 or nine paragraphs but i did fully illustrate it myself um and yeah it's uh festooned we have illustrations. I won't show you too many just because I don't want to. Well, I might as well flick through. I was thinking. So just. I'll just pen drawings. Uh, there is, if I can find it, a quite intriguing one of a dwarf in a gimp suit. Yeah, actually, this, <laughs> this isn't really a kid's book. I think you're fine if you're kind of 12 or 13 up. But um, as you can see on the back here, The Maze of Mockery is a choose-your-own-path game book. We take on the role of a dwarf lord, tri triumphant after a successful military campaign against the human kingdom in the West. A vengeful sorcerer has captured and imprisoned you, he intends to drive you to furious insanity by insulting, humiliating and degrading you in many imaginative ways. Can you keep your dwarfish temper or will you be pushed too far and lose all self-control? And it is a humorous book. It's not really to be taken seriously. So you only have to keep track of a couple of things in it. Um, and that is your, your name, which you get at the start, which I'll show you in a minute your furiousness score, which can change a lot throughout the game, as this guy is trying to basically mock you to death. And your items, and because you do begin completely butt naked, you only get, you don't have rucksacks <laughs> and whatnot, so you only get two items unless they're stated otherwise, like maybe a ring you could wear or something. Um, and yeah, you, you start off with um, a starting furiousness score, which can vary from something like about 80 up to nearly 300. And you generate this by rolling up a name. So to start with, oh, by the way, the, the, the book uses um, an unusual dice system of a D6 and two D10. So, if you have to test your furiousness, let's say that your, your score was 250. You first roll the d6 to ascertain the, the 100. Um, and then you roll the first d10, and that's the 10s, and the second d10 is the units. So, you know, if you say, for example, you rolled a 4, followed by a 3, followed by a 1, that would be 431. And you have to get... Um, within your, your your current furiousness score or you fail that check. But it can go down as well as up. And um, yeah, it's basically how how badly can I <laughs> abuse this Dwarf Lord uh, throughout the game. As you can see, it's a little bit racy, but it isn't, there's no actual swearing in it or I don't think it's too bad really. I'd say if it was a movie, I'd rate it as probably a, a 12. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you get your name, you generate your name randomly at the beginning, um, and some of them can end up being quite honourable names. And so you start with a quite low furiousness, like Jorex Goblin Basher, or you can end up with um, 
you know, a real shocker of a name like Sorry Helmet Beater, which obviously <laughs> will make you quite annoyed. And then the uh, the adventure begins, and as you can see, it's a, it's a choose your own adventure. And I think it seems to have gone down quite well. The reviews on Amazon are all good so far. And the good thing about it is it's only like under a fiver. So yeah, if you used to play these books as a uh, as a child or you fancy giving it a try, um, if you haven't got ten sided dice, which I think if you geek like me, you will have. I've got loads of, <laughs> but um, you can just download a uh, a dice rolling app. Most of them are free, I think, on uh, on the the app store on your phone or whatnot. Anyway, the maze of mockery. Check it out.